I'm Andrew Griffith. I'm a former public servant um, who has worked uh, both in Canada and abroad in a variety of different uh, policy areas. Since my retirement, I've been focusing a lot on sort of the whole nexus of immigration, settlement, citizenship and multiculturalism issues in terms of trying to assess what works, what doesn't work in the Canadian context. Um, in this light, I tend to look a lot at the, uh, the available data, whether it be census data, whether it be employment equity data, whether it be other diversity data or public polling, again, to try and sort of see what does the complete picture uh, look like. Um, in short, it generally looks quite reasonable, in, particularly in comparison to other countries. Um, but we do find there are some notable gaps in terms of income employment rates among some minority groups and uh, more recent immigrants. Uh, but overall, it's a relatively uh, positive portrayal, including sort of public opinion and ongoing support for relatively large-scale immigration. One of the other areas that I've been trying to focus on more recently is how do we actually discuss immigration issues or multiculturalism issues in a way that acknowledges public concerns, but in a way that is also respectful and a positive dialogue that allows a frank discussion without automatic labeling people as deplorables or as part of the elite. And I think as we move forward, that's going to be an ongoing challenge as we can see from uh, pressures from uh, public discourse. In one sense, compared to Europe, Canada is more immune in the sense that immigration is so much part of the Canadian culture. Most Canadians are immigrants or re fairly recent uh, descendants of immigrants. And so that means that an overt anti-immigration message is really hard to gain much support in Canada. And if we look at actually the political landscape, uh, what we see is that out of the 338 ridings, well, 41 are visible minority ridings where the visible minority is actually the majority. And those are the uh, ridings that we see outside of Toronto, outside of Vancouver. And so there's a, no little, there's not really a path to power for any political party under our political system uh, to get a majority government and it becomes extremely hard to get a minority government if, you, if a party would use an anti-immigration message or the like. And you even see that you know, the current government announced an increase in immigration levels. The opposition didn't challenge it. They focused on some specific administration type issues and that's what their focus was, which again indicates the degree to which can has some degree of insulation or immunization to some of the currents that are happening elsewhere. Mm -hmm.